Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's been pretty quiet this week. I was having a hard time coming up with even a topic for what I was going to do this Tuesday. Um, not being in my van makes it really hard to do life, uh, do videos on life as a van lifer. Um, I'm living in my house right now. I am trying to get ready to move, but uh, I did come up with the topic. I actually had ordered some stuff on Amazon, and so I have a couple of products that I'm going to show you that I purchased in preparation for when I get back in my van. When I was in my van before, there was a couple of things more than a couple of things that I knew needed to change. And so um, these two products will just be a couple of those things that I'm going to add into my van life. So hope you enjoy the video. Let's go. just arrived today. I really like the Keurig coffee maker, so I've decided to buy one that I can use in my van. Let's see how it works. Coffee pod. Also comes with you can make your grind your own and put it in the little in the little um, what do you call it earth friendly cup. Boil some water. Six ounces, eight ounces, ten ounces. Put the lid on carefully, very carefully. And I guess that's the plunger. Oh, it is too. I guess I should have put that on first. Put it on the cup. Hold it really still. I can hear it running through. I can smell it. It smells really good. Let's see how full it is. Water. 
see is it, if it tastes the same. So I got another product in the mail this week and it's a handheld shower unit that I'm going to use in my van. So let's see how it works. It came with several things. It came with this collapsible bag, it came with a handheld shower unit, but there's no shut off on this. So I probably won't use this because I want to conserve water and because I don't have very good balance, I need to hang on. To something with one hand to balance when I'm bent over a tub. Um, I don't have an extra hand to let go of this and then turn off the shut off which is on the pump. This is the pump and there's a shut off valve right, right here. This other side is actually where you charge it so you pull that off because this is submersible so you have to put that back on before you submerse it in water so you don't ruin the charging port. Um, the other shower un um, handheld unit that it comes with is this one. And this is the one that I expect that I will use when I'm having my shower. It has a shut off so I can do this with one hand. I can spray or not spray. A couple of other things it came with. I'm not sure if this is just a spare for the charging port. A suction cup so I can stick it to something, a hook that will go on the suction cup, or um, a nozzle holder. Not sure how any of that works. I will show more about this when I actually get into my van and I'm using this for real. Right now it's just this. So I've already charged it and I'll just put some water in this and show you how it works. I would heat the water, I would have some cold water in here and then I would heat some other water up really hot and pour it in with this so that it's warm. Um, I'm hoping that this doesn't take a lot of water but we'll find that out when I get going once I um, once I'm in my van and try it for real. The thing is, is I think you have to have enough water so that the pump always remains submerged. So you're gonna have water left over and what I do with that water, I don't wanna waste it. So we'll have to figure something out. Anyways, I think that's probably good. This little cap comes off so I can turn it on. In the water and and it's not working. It was working the other day, so see if it's defective. It's completely submerged. And it's not working. to be standing up, which is kind of odd. Let's see if this is adjustable. All right, well anyways, there you go. I might have to have something in the bag to hold the pump so it sits this way because, well, oh, now it's working. I guess it just needs time to get the water up the thing. Anyways, I'll have more on that when I get into my van. that's it for this week. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video. And if you're not subscribed already, 
Um, it would be really great if you did subscribe. So we'll see you next week.